Hi there, this is Chris with Peace of Mind Art and Crafts. Welcome to my channel and uh, today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to make uh, a little butterfly journal. This is it. Here, let me take this out of the way a minute so you can see it better. It's a little journal that opens up and has pages. Sewn shut. Okay, I was going to show you this first because this was kind of what gave me the idea for the journal. I um, I did this collage painting with uh, three butterflies, and I I uh, cut out the size butterfly that I wanted. And what I did was I folded I folded it over, and then traced the pattern and then flipped it over so that I'd get both sides even. So once I got a pattern, then I covered them with collage papers. Then I cut it out around the collage papers. Then I did the background and then I put the butterflies down. And of course this this would be a whole other different video. Um, if you, if you kind of want to see how I do a mixed media collage painting on canvas, this is a 12 by 12. Then you can refer back to some of my other uh, videos that I've done. Uh, there's one that's like a four step, four videos on how to make a mixed media collage. So I'm going to take this one away for now. And after I finished with that, with that video I had some patterns left so what I did was I traced around the pattern onto a piece of paper I used a pencil and you can you can trace it on the back too if you want to use it um, maybe you want to use a pen or something but it's, it's best to use a, a pencil because then you can erase so all you do I won't cut this whole thing out. I'll just show you. I try to keep right within the right within the pencil line so that I don't have to erase it. But it still may show, and then in which case I'll, I'll erase it and um, before I start putting the the journal together. Okay, and like I said, this does not have to be even. As a matter of fact, I kind of like the um, the unevenness of it. You'll notice when I folded these that they're not all exactly the same. And I kind of like that. I think that's nice. So after you cut out your, your piece, um, you'll need one for the cover, which on this one I am going to use this piece for the cover. On this one I used, let me show you it opened up. I used this, this piece for the cover. And uh, so that was the cover. And then one, two, three more pe pieces of uh, paper. And you could use more than that if you want. You could also put inside some plain paper, maybe some um, uh, a coffee dyed paper if you'd like also. So put that there for now. I cut out all my pieces. And then I folded them in half. Let's see, I think I'll use I think I'll use this one again. Folded it in half. Okay. And then what I did was I'm going to get out a piece of uh, wax paper on my background just so I don't get my table too messy. And I use some distress ink. Stress oxide vintage photo is what I'm using. And I use one of these, uh, this is just a, like a makeup sponge. And I go around the edges so that I can get some uh, some just some vintage look to it. Go on. This ink pad is starting to get a little 
dry to try to ink it back up. And then also I'm going to turn it over because the inside of the paper, the other side is white. You can use double-sided paper, papers if you want. I happen to use um, just on one side on this one. And actually one-sided uh, sheets of scrapbook paper are... Um, excuse me, are a little bit thinner than the other kinds, so they're, they actually work a little bit better for this, this purpose. And if you are making, um, if you are going to do them with collage, then at this point in time, what you do is you would um, uh, just start tearing out pieces of paper and putting them down and collage them, and then turn around and clip it off, and then you have your collaged butterfly. Now I'm going to be using it for the journal. So, I, like I said, I have my my pieces. This is going to be my cover. Then I have a piece of that gold, and then I'm going to have another piece of the gold. Okay. And I'm going to want to sew it. I'm going to show you how to do the hand sewing of it. It is quite easy and you would be able to sew it on your sewing machine if you like. I get my little sewing kit out. It's not super thick so you will be you would be able to sew down put it under your sewing machine and sew down the seam. I like to use the thread so that I um, can come out of the top with the thread and make these little antennas, which I think are cute. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll get some clips. You'll need, you'll need a needle. Clips. I'll use these smaller ones. And like I said, this because this was hand cut, this is not going to be exactly even on the edges, which that does not bother me out at all. And I did, um, and it, if it does, you can always go in and clip off just a tiny bit of maybe of that white, and then edge it with the um, with the ink to get rid of that white look. That's the only thing that would bother me would really would be that, that white, a stark white on the edges. So let's open it back up to the middle. Okay, and get it lined up as best you can. Put your clips on the sides. Okay, then you're gonna you're gonna bind this just like you would a regular uh, journal. So get your your pokey tool, or me, I use the compass. And got some thread. What works best for this is the. Um, find it Come on, thread. here we go is the black or you can use white or cream color um, this is the waxed thread and the reason I like this of course is because it bends and you can make the antennas out of it so we're gonna use we're gonna use the same technique that we that we do for our regular books we're gonna measure one two three times the length and then maybe a little bit more so that you make sure you have enough for the antenna. Okay. And I'm going to get a book to brace it against. Actually, I think I'll just use a piece of cardboard. 
Okay, and I'm going to, you can either mark with a pencil first, mark the middle, and then a little ways up from the bottom, a little ways down from the top. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke through here and make, make the three holes poke through. And more. Turn you can turn it around on the other side to make sure they went through. And I can see that they did. Now you want your thread to be on the inside. Okay, so that means you will thread your needle. And this is a blunt needle, and meaning that the, the bottom part is not sharp, it's it's blunted so that it, it tears less when you go through paper or fabric. Actually, <clears throat> the only kind of fabric you want to use this on is like a really loose weave fabric. But paper, if, you, if you've if you got your hole going through it, and you can also punch the hole through the fabric too first and then use this. Okay, so you're going to want to go through down through the center and pull it to the outside. Leave a tail on the inside. Then you're going to want to come up at the top okay or you can do the come up at the bottom it doesn't matter which one you do first okay so you're back into the center then you go across this one to the bottom On the back, okay. Pull it. You want it to be a little snug, but not so that you tear it. Then you can come back on that same hole in the middle and come up on the other side than where you had it the first time. So this is on this side. And you want to come up where you had it on this side. Okay, and check and see how you did on the outside. That looks good. Take your needle off. Check me. There we go. Okay. And I usually tie it once or twice, I mean, excuse me, two or three times. I think this with this it'll be enough to do twice. Take my clips off. I'm kind of the type of person that puts my things away as I go. Unless I'm doing a lot in a row, then I keep this this stuff out. But as I'm finished, then I put it away. Excuse me, I need a drink of water. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna make next we're gonna make the antenna. And what we're gonna do is is try to make a a knot right where you want the, the basically the top of the antenna to be. So just kind of judge it and uh, you can always redo this if you don't like where it is. Especially if you get it too far out, you can just kind of cut it off and do it, or do it again and then cut it off. Okay, so that kind of, that works good for me. So I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to do the other one. Okay, and then just keep maneuvering it around a little bit until you get where you want it, the knot where you want it. Okay. And the knots don't have to be in the exactly same place on each one, but fairly similar. Okay. You have your little antenna.
for your butterfly. Okay, now you have a little journal. I do have a, a fairly good sized piece left, so I'm, I am going to save that piece. Okay. Now you can you can decorate it. What I did was I took a I took a tab, and I'll show you which ones I have. Except I have kind of a plain one. I sort of would like a plain one. Here's a plain one. Let's see if that will fit on there. We'll have to cover up the, the flower, but that's that's okay. Okay, so let's first of all I'm gonna write on here with a pen. I'm just gonna write journal. if I don't like the way it turns out I can make another one another tag okay I didn't quite get that the way I wanted let me see if I've got some that are that are printed already and I think I might have in in here and you don't have to put journal on the cover either you can put you can put other other words on there. Okay. There's one that says journal. I kind of like that. That I believe is from um, Shabby Dabby Doodahs, the digitals. Out or to tear it out. I think I'm just going to cut it out. And as you can see, I've already inked it. I just, sometimes I do that, sometimes I just ink up a whole page of them while they're still on the page, and then I just have to tear them or cut them out. I kind of like the way this this turned out on the paper where it has these I don't know if you could see that see the way it has those glittery dots when it has those glittery dots right down the, the edge of the the butterfly okay now I'm going to use my art glitter glue yeah whoops our glitter glue has got a little rusted. It's my glitter glue. So glue that down. That will hold it really nicely. On my other one, then I decorated it with some say different sayings. I'll show you. This one says kindness. Creativity takes courage. Home is where the heart is. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Party without cake is just a meeting. That's one of my favorite ones because I love cake. Good times are going to happen. Travel the world over to find the beautiful. 
trust your crazy ideas. And you'll notice that I also um, inked the back of the pages so they're not quite so white. Or, like I said earlier, you could use, uh, for your butterfly uh, pattern, you can use um, uh, coffee dyed paper or even uh, cardstock that's colored. Okay, so i do a couple more in here. Picked out some sayings that I kind of like. Life is the art of drawing without an eraser. These would make excellent gifts for people that you know. Um, maybe as a stocking stuffer. Maybe you belong to a group of uh, crafters or a book club or something. This would make excellent little gift for everyone. Okay, and I'm going to... I can, if I want, um, ink that up a bit, which I think I will do. My three-in-one glue just dropped into no man's land the back behind my sewing machine. You'll have to remember to get that later. This is also a great way to use up your um, your scraps uh, of uh, bigger scraps of scrap of paper. And you want to give the person a, a place to write, so you don't want to put too many things in here, but some of the littler ones are good. Okay, so... I would ink this up, and if I decide to use that one, I would. But for now, I think I'm, I'm finished with this one. And, like I said, this makes a great little gift for someone. Okay. And another thing about it is it fits, it, it's, let's see, when it's closed, it, it measures about four inches at this widest part. So it fits really, really well into the page on a, on a journal and into a, into a journal pocket. Okay. So this would be a, a nice little thing to, to, to put along with a journal in the, in the pocket or even uh, clipped along, clipped alongside the, the, uh, the journal page. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. I wish you all peace of mind. Thank you. Bye now.